Well, uh, it is so great to be back on the show again. I really appreciate you inviting me. Uh, it's a it's a big day for us. I feel like we're friends, Tim, already, because the last <laughs> time you came to Singapore, you were also with us on the show. Yeah. Uh, we met you at the uh, Orchard Road Apple Store, and uh, it's been almost two years. It, it feels like a lifetime ago, know. you know, and uh, so much has happened since then. But, uh, you know, what, what? we'd love to start the interview yeah. by asking you your, your best memory of, of your trip here to Singapore. Mm. You know, the, the first time that I came to Singapore was uh, with Apple, was in 1998. And uh, I remember then being just quickly accepted by the team and the, and the people there. Uh, everybody was so warm and welcoming. And I felt like that on my last trip there too, in, in 2019 when, when I was on your show. And uh, I think there's, uh, no place quite like it. That, that, that's so lovely to hear. And of course, we're, we're talking to you today. Mm. Uh, you're there in uh, Cupertino at Apple because Apple in Singapore is celebrating quite an incredible milestone, Martin. 40 years. 40 years. 40 years. Wow. It is pretty incredible. Apple has pretty much grown up yeah. with Singapore here. So tell us a little bit of how it feels for Apple to be 40 years young here in Singapore. It, you know, it's been an incredible journey for us, and we're honored and humbled to be part of the Singaporean journey. Uh, our first connection to Singapore started in 1981, long before I got to Apple. Uh, I, was a, uh, I was doing my undergraduate in engineering at the time, and we were manufacturing the Apple II, if you remember, in Singapore. And we were in a building sort of like no other at the time, with an all-white facade and a block design, Ang Makio. And pe people came to work and they were wearing jeans instead of uniforms. And we had on-campus computer classes uh, before anyone had ever heard of the internet and uh, built quite a diverse team of experts there. Uh, one of our local team members is Grace Tan and her mother worked at the Apple II facility. And it meant that Grace had an Apple II at home and she would teach her classmates how to use computers at school. And now she leads Apple's entire people team in, in Singapore. And so Singapore is really like a second home for us. You know, we have offices, we have retail stores, including the, the one that we just opened at Marina Bay Sands last year. I was able to go through it when I was visiting, but it was all taped up at the time. And uh, I, I cannot wait to go back when it's open. Uh, we, we've always been a company that's focused on the future, but it, is, it does feel good to sort of sit back and think about the last 40. But, but more importantly, we're so excited about the next 40. First of all, can I get you to say that again? Apple's facility, where, where was it? Because you said it very well. Ung Makio. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. You're, you're localized. <laughs> Let's talk about history because, like you said, you know, uh, some of the, uh, the, the early, like the Apple II was um, uh, produced in Singapore. Now, Martin, you told me before mm. that your first ever Apple product was an Apple II. It was an Apple II. Yeah. But it, it, well, it, it, I, I didn't go out and buy it because sure. uh, I was still fairly young, yeah. uh, or, or so I'd like to think. But uh -huh. my, my dad actually went out to, to get the Apple II. Wow. I mean, I, at that age, I, I think I was nine or ten years old, and right. uh, I loved it. It looked cool, but I didn't know what to do with it. But <laughs> my dad used it for his work, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, my, my first Apple product was actually uh, one of the Power Macs. Uh, Ooh, in, in the early 2000s, oh, when, yeah. I, when I could, you know, afford a, like a big computer, first thing I went to do was go and buy a, a Power Mac G3. Now, Tim, if you don't mind us asking you, what was your first Apple product? Of course, probably before you joined Apple, but what was your it, first Apple? Mine was also an Apple II, and the first time I used it, I was at I was an uh, engineering undergraduate student at Auburn, and we were doing senior project at the time. And we were doing this inventory management system for this uh, rental center kind of business. And uh, I remember falling in love with the, with the Apple II. And, and then when I joined Apple, the first computer that shipped after, after joining was the iMac, the original Bondi Blue iMac. And of course, of course we manufactured those in Singapore, as you know. And uh, 
that was a part of my first trip over there was making sure we were ready to start building the building the iMac. Oh, that's incredible! What a journey! <laughs> I, I love that trip down down memory lane. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah. so you you were talking about you know buildings just now, mm. and to be honest, right? You you, you mentioned Ang, Ang Mo Kio. Yeah. Till today, so many years later, mm -hmm. like if you hop into a, a taxi here in Singapore, and if you got one of the uh, uncles driving you, and you say, "Uncle, bring me to Apple," they will bring you bring you to Ang Mo Kio. They know exactly they where know it is. They know exactly yeah. where it's it iconic is because for so many years it's been so iconic. Of course, now when you say Apple, some of the uh, other drivers will go like, Marina Bay? Yeah, which one? Orchard. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mentioned this a while back, uh, Tim, but but um, I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot by asking you which is your favorite. But if you ask us, the Marina Bay Sands Apple Store. Oh, it, it's going to be, right? It's the nicest Apple Store in the world. Beautiful. It's the only one that's on the water. I know. Exactly. And it's spherical and it just looks majestic, you know, sitting there on the water. And, yeah. and it, the, 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 the viewpoints of that store is incredible because you can see it from so many angles and it all looks fantastic. No, and when you're in it and you look out, oh, wow. you know, it's, it's, it, it's like you're in, in an art piece. Unbelievable. 